Now, drill rappers are definitely in trouble after this one. Did you guys know that recently the police arrested and indicted 20 different people with the help of drill music videos? The Sting operation is called Operation Drilly and it's apparently been in the works for the last couple years. Pretty crazy how this entire thing is playing out and uh, I wanted to cover it though. With that being said, Operation Drilly. Let's talk about it. Now, like a lot of us know, drill rap has been heavily discussed in some parts of the media world these last couple months. Some of that is of course fueled by what the New York mayor, Eric Adams, had to say about drill rap. Do you guys remember that video I made, I think it was a month and a half ago or two months ago, where we talked about how Eric Adams, the New York mayor, wanted to censor drill music videos. The conclusion I and most of us came to is censorship is never the answer because it never is. Censoring something or even banning something leads to the same outcome you're fighting against. So really in the end, what is is the point. On Thursday the 7th of April, so about a week ago, 20 alleged Bronx gang members were indicted by the Bronx District Attorney's Office. The DA's office in Bronx and the New York PD have collectively been working on this operation called Operation Drilly. They've been working on this case for a little while. They've supposedly gathered a lot of evidence against the 20 individuals who got indicted. Some of the crimes the 20 people who got arrested are up against includes murder, non-fatal shootings, and stabbings. These crimes were allegedly committed over the last three years, so they've been in the cut taking notes, watching what's going on in these drill videos, and they now officially have a case. 18 different guns were recovered in this indictment by the way, so all those guns have officially been taken off the street and gotten seized by law enforcement. Now this is how the district attorney's office is describing this indictment by the way. 20 alleged G-side slash drilly gang members indicted for crimes including murders, non-fatal shootings, and stabbings. Defendants carried out 32 crimes over the last three years, boasted about acts of violence in drill rap scene, 18 guns taken off the street. District Attorney Darcel D. Clark, who is at the forefront of this case, said the following regarding it. These defendants allegedly engaged in dozens of acts of violence include murder and attempted murder over the last three years with the most recent just a few weeks ago. The defendants allegedly committed multiple shootings, some in broad daylight, killing two people and injuring innocent bystanders. These defendants terrorized residents of the Fordham Bedford Park neighborhoods who were forced to run for their lives as bullets flew. We thank the New York PD for their intense work on this investigation. We're doing all we can to battle the gun scourge, but more must be done to deviate young people from a life of gangs and senseless violence. So, you heard what she said, we're talking a bunch of shootings, some of them in broad daylight, some of them apparently, like you heard, injured innocent people. I want to go over some of the crimes that are mentioned in this indictment, just so you can get an idea of what Operation Drilly is really about. So, let's talk about it. Let's start with the attempted barbershop murder. On the evening of October 22nd, 2021, two people waited outside a barbershop on East Gun Hill Road, located in the Bronx. They had allegedly been waiting there for approximately 15 minutes before they decided to commit this particular crime. Right after those 15 minutes, they entered the barbershop and uh, fired multiple shots at the intended target who was getting a haircut at the time. The individual who was getting shot at tried to hide behind a chair, but he unfortunately got hit in his leg and his stomach. The victim got taken to the hospital shortly after and... He ended up surviving. So this particular crime, obviously an attempted murder since the intended target survived. But that's what happened in this particular story. The victim was uh, getting a haircut, okay. Two guys show up in a barbershop trying to take him out. Luckily for him, it wasn't his time to go and that's that. Another story in this indictment that I want to go over is the murder of 20-year-old Delilah Vasquez. Cries from a family and a community in pain rang through this block after the death of 20-year-old Delilah Vasquez, who was found shot in the head in this apartment building. Now, candles and pictures lay here in honor of her memory, but residents are calling for an end to the violence in the streets. I feel like I can have a heart attack and die. This is like, On the 17th of March, 2021, 20-year-old Delilah Vasquez was shot to death inside a Bronx apartment building. Delilah was found deceased by cops around 10 p.m. that same day. She had suffered a gunshot wound to the head at close range. Delilah was taken to a medical center nearby after her body got discovered, but it unfortunately was too late and she died. Several people were seen leaving the apartment building around the time of her murder and those people are allegedly amongst the 20 who got arrested by the way. Delilah's mother in an extremely emotional interview stated that these were apparently her daughter's friends. I feel like I can have a heart attack and die. It's like, no. This is crazy. It's, like, it's unfair that your old friends kill you. 
Very emotional interview, obviously sending my condolences to the young lady's family. I don't really know what connection she had to these gang members, but she did know them in some type of fashion and the shooting is considered a gang related one by the cops after all. Moving on to the next story in this indictment, which went down on June 28, 2021 at approximately 10 p.m. Two other people who are indicted in this sting operation, they were allegedly out and about hunting for the ops and uh, ended up finding their intended target in front of Avenue in the Bronx. They then started firing multiple shots at the target, which led to three innocent people getting wounded. Another story in this indictment, this alleged incident went down back in September 2020. At approximately 2 p.m. on the 29th of September, two of the juveniles who are indicted in this sting operation allegedly fired multiple shots at a target they were looking for in an extremely busy area. There were a bunch of people, but also children all over the area, so this could have ended with innocent people getting killed. Luckily, no one was injured though, which is obviously good news. Now, now, as far as how the police used drill music videos to bring this indictment together, that I actually don't know. That's not something they've revealed, obviously since it is an ongoing case and that evidence will most likely be used in the court of law. I think it's kind of crazy how a lot of people, especially the rappers who are making these drill records, they don't realize that the boys in blue, okay, they're peeping everything you're doing. Best believe that they're deciphering the lyrics on these drill records, they're carefully observing who's actually in the music videos. If they see a bunch of felons posted up in a music video towing guns, well, guess who's gonna catch a gun charge? They're also gonna try to figure out if any of those guns have been used in any crimes. Let's say you shot one of the ops. If that ends up being the case, well, that's when you'll catch a case. This kind of thing is a win for the community where these alleged crimes happened. Hip hop, rap, and this drill conversation aside, innocent people getting hurt, I don't fuck with that. If a bunch of gang members want to take each other out, I won't lose any sleep over that. That's the life they chose, but it never stops there. A lot of innocent folks do end up dying by catching stray bullets in these gang related shootings because they happen to be in the vicinity of the crime. Considering the amount of self snitching that's going on these days, I'm surprised there's not more Operation Drillies. This is the kind of indictment that I believe is going to open the door for that. We've of course seen these types of situations in the past, like when Bobby Shmurda said that the homie Mitch, okay, caught a body about a week ago and a couple other things. The song wasn't officially used against him, but did it help his case? Absolutely not. I'm very curious as to what evidence they have in this indictment. I'm assuming they got a bunch of self-snitching lyrics, but what more? That's the question. But yeah, drill rappers are definitely in trouble after this one. Like we covered, for the last couple years, law enforcement has been working on a sting operation called Operation Drilly, where 20 different individuals got indicted, and drill music videos apparently played a big part in this indictment being a thing. Do you have any thoughts on this? I bet you do. Definitely let me know in the comment section below and uh, let's have a discussion about this.